you a Jeter jersey, but Jack said he couldn't send it to you in Pentonville. They'll never let you keep it, so it'll be waiting for you when you get home. I still miss Matsui and Damon, but not as much as I miss my big brother. How's Spinelli doing? Oh, Spinelli. Um, well, he won't come into the office. I actually found him at home in his pajamas, buried in the computer. Are you trying to find a way to get Michael out? No, he is not. He is addicted to some online gaming tournament. He plays it till all hours of the night. Jason, he's obsessed with it. I kind of think it's his way of coping, feeling so helpless. Can you, can you just find something for this guy to do to distract him, to make him feel useful? Yeah, I mean, I can, I can put him on the whole conjugal visits thing. I mean, maybe he can find a loophole somewhere. Are you really gonna leave our fate in Spinelli's hands? Oh, Jason, I am desperate. Back to your cell, Morgan. You must not have heard me. Jekyll is pressing business and cannot be destroyed. Apparently not using those social skills I was helping you cultivate. Spinelli. Apologies, but focus is of the utmost importance. I've reached an expert level heretofore unknown in cyberspace. Okay, well, you're not in your cyber world. You're here, and I need you. Well, email me the specifics, and I will give it my attention in due time. Listen to me. I know that Jason going to prison must be terrible for you. And I, I know that these computer games are a much needed distraction. But I need you too. I doubt that. You have your health and your freedom. What else could be of the utmost importance in Maximista's world? My job? There's an art gallery opening in New York, and Kate wants me to go. I would really like it if you could be with me. I mean, I was thinking maybe we could even go a day early into the city and stay at one of those boutique hotels. This does not sound urgent to me. Well, it's got to be more important than whatever it is you're doing. You realize that if you refuse to go with me, I'm going to have to find someone else. Is that a threat? No, I'm just saying. If you care so little for the Jackal's love and are incapable of supporting my current emotional exigencies, then I guess there's little I can do to stop you. Am I right? Didn't Sonny just threaten to kill someone? You know what? Um, Sonny likes to shoot off his mouth a little bit. Okay, and I, I choose to believe that he has the good sense to know that if he kills John Zakara or anyone else, it's going to hurt Michael's chances of getting out of prison. So, uh, so we will just, uh, we'll call that little incident today with you and your goons and Johnny on the sidewalk. Uh, we'll call that a misunderstanding, okay? You brace John Zakara on a public street? Oh, Olivia's just, she's, she gets oversensitive at times. Uh-huh. And you're delusional. Okay? Because we agreed to set up Johnny for an arrest. I did not agree to turn a blind eye so you could murder him. 